Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a big question I have been getting asked more than anything recently. It's been on the news, it's been in all blogs, it's been on social media. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that is GitHub Copilot. If you haven't heard of GitHub Copilot, we are going to be going through in this video exactly what it is, but also to more importantly, why we are making this video is there are so many questions surrounding is GitHub Copilot going to take over our jobs as developers? Before I get to the answer though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for your comments, your questions, your feedback, your love, you just, are all amazing, thank you. And okay, let's get into it. I have been getting asked throughout Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all social media platforms, Tiff, what do you think about GitHub Copilot? Is it going to take over our jobs? Is it worth even learning how to code anymore? What am I going to do? Some people were freaking out, so worried about GitHub Copilot. So I wanna sit down with you today and really break it down for you what it is, but also to if it is something that we need to be concerned about as developers. First off, let's talk about what exactly is GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot, even on their website themselves, they say it is basically your AI pair programmer. So GitHub Copilot will suggest different lines of code for you. It will suggest entire functions for you. And if you don't like what it is suggesting, you can tab through and it will bring up other suggestions. Does that scare you? Does it sound crazy? It's coding for you or helping a lot of it, but there's so much more to it. So your next question I am sure you are asking is, well, how exactly does it work? Before we get into how exactly it works for us, what we see, we need to understand how it works from a technical perspective, considering we are in the tech industry. So GitHub Copilot uses a new language generating algorithm by OpenAI called Codex. And this algorithm Codex has been trained on open source software or open source code, I should say, from GitHub. I mean, think about how many projects are open source and it's going through, sifting through all that code, learning it all. It's in the billions of uh, lines of code that it has learned. So it's really smart, way smarter than us. Okay, I'm going to pull up a diagram here to really break it down for you exactly the flow of it. So right now it will become a Visual Studio Code extension and spot for different technical implementations where it can be used. Under the hood though, the extension is sending your code and comments to the GitHub Copilot services, which uses the Codex algorithm to understand and create suggestions. And it speaks to virtually any language, but it works best with Python, JavaScript, Go, TypeScript. And according to people who've already been using it, it can generate up to 10 different suggestions based on one line of code. So if you're coding a function or building something, it can suggest up to 10 alternatives, uh, ways to code something just based on one line of code, which is pretty crazy. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to scare you with all of these facts about it because you're like, well, what, what are we needed for anymore? But let's continue down this path and then I will get to if it will take over our jobs. So like many of you, when I first heard about GitHub Copilot, I was honestly pretty concerned. I thought this is the end of my job. What am I going to be needed for? And had all these negative thoughts, but I quickly took a step back and looked at the bigger picture and I want you to as well. And these are just my thoughts on it, my opinion. No one really knows what's going to happen just like with any industry, but I think it's important to note that it's easy to look at the negatives that, oh, this is going to take over our job. What are we going to be needed for? But what about the alternative? For example, in my day-to-day -day job as a software developer, I automate as much as possible. As much as my job that I can take off of you know, my time by automating it, I do. And I think this is kind of another arm of that. With GitHub Copilot, as it continues to grow and be more advanced, it will take more of my current job of say, you know, the mundane coding, uh, building different things, the day-to-day, -day, maybe it will take most of that away from my job. However, what it will allow and will free up my time to do is to continue to learn and grow my technical skills. So do I think it's going to take over all developers' jobs? It goes back to, I think as long as you are someone who is willing to evolve and grow, 
so will your job and your technical skills. What you do today will not be what you do in five years from now or 10 years from now. And I think that's really important to know because it's easy to sit here and say, yes, they kind of like website builders, how, uh, you know, there's so many, you know, Wix or Shopify or different kind of sites like that, that build static or e-commerce websites now even for us that they don't need necessarily a ton of developers. This will probably kind of be the next step towards that as well with uh, GitHub Copilot. But what it allows for us to do as humans, as developers, is to think bigger, to learn more. Maybe you want to specialize in cybersecurity or AI or machine learning. It's not going to completely wipe out the tech industry or I should say never, never say never. But if it gets to that point, let me tell you, all industries will be wiped out. It's not just the tech industry. And I think that's important to know. We like to look at these things from such a negative perspective of it will take over our jobs, we won't have any work, but it's completely false as long as you are someone who is willing and wants to continue to learn and grow your skill set. The next question you are probably asking is, well, Tiff, is it even worth, worth learning how to code? And my answer to you is, I believe coding is one of the most valuable skills and will continue to be one of the most highly sought after and in-demand skills, even if, say, this really has an impact on developers. The reason being is because code is building our future. It is building so much of our future, what we use today, what we will use in the future, and having an understanding of that language, of code itself and different languages within it, there's, you can't put a price on that. It's so important. Even if you end up being in a role that you are not coding, having the understanding of how things work, how GitHub Copilot works, for example, there's, it's just so valuable that to say there's no point in learning how to code anymore or these kind of things with AI pair programming are going to take over our jobs and just being so negative about it and not even wanting to learn how to code because of it, you're looking at it from the completely wrong point of view, in my opinion. So to sum it up for me, I say bring it on, bring, I, bring on AI pair programming, bring on GitHub Copilot. I think it's exciting. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome the way we are building and automating so much of our work because it allows and frees up our time to do so much more complex work and so much more uh, time spent learning and growing and continuing to build really cool tech stuff. So, Try and look at it from that perspective. It's not going to completely take out your job as long as you don't let it. And how do you not let it? Goes back to learning. But I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on this. Are you happy about GitHub Copilot? Do you just not want it to become integrated in your daily programming life? What are your thoughts? Leave in the comments, I'm really curious. I've watched a few videos on this and a lot of people are pretty negative about it. So I wanted to do a video on the positive spin of it and truly what I think is going to happen, uh, not just to be positive, to be positive, but I think it's the way it's going to go is the people who are willing to adapt and grow and evolve their jobs, they have nothing to worry about. But the people who want to stay stagnant and stay behind and stay in the old school ways, that might be a little concerning for them. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos if you haven't already. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave in the comments other videos you want to see, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.